Tyson, I, I know you've, you've scored points and had big games in your career, but it seems like lately the team, especially since Nick's been out, they need you to score more, and you have been lately. I mean, have you felt your role kind of change as far as having to step forward and be one of the main options? Yeah, well, definitely, because um, Nick is a big part of our team. You know, just losing him, you know, that's a big loss. But now that, um, you know, I just use this opportunity, my teammates got a lot of confidence in me. And get it Brian here in the front. Robert, they say this time of year, freshmen aren't freshmen anymore. When you're out there on the court, do you feel like a freshman or do you feel fully engaged and confident in your game? First, I would like to thank God for this opportunity. And uh, around this time of the year, you know, it's all about confidence and trusting your teammates. I've had enough time to um, get adjusted to the game. So, you know, you basically aren't a freshman anymore. It's, it's time to step up and, you know, not use that as an excuse. Okay, questions for the players? We'll get the microphone to you. Let's go ahead and get it here. Tyson, you've been here now for three years. What's the, the vibe like on this team, knowing that you guys are basically a lot for the NCAA tournament? How Obviously, a lot of big games left to play, but how satisfying is it for, for you to get to this point? I mean, it's definitely uh, really exciting because, you know, it's a feeling that I ain't never felt before, and none of my teammates have either because we never experienced the NCAA tournament. But we know that it's the work not done. We got to keep on coming to practice and going as hard as we can. And don't take nobody lightly. Like just keep playing hard every game. Robert, uh, Missouri made a run kind of right, right there around halftime. How were y'all able to withstand that? It didn't seem like y'all panicked and just y'all just kind of got back into your game. Basketball is a game of runs. So uh, I was telling, I think it was Keyshawn on the bench, that you know they weren't getting shots right now. So eventually some will have to fall. So we were just pretty much prepared for that. And, um, you know, when adversity hits, you just have to go through it and stick with your teammates. So it wasn't hard. Tyson, kind of piggybacking off that again, when you guys the first couple of years, you, you have losing streaks and never seem to get get that ball to stop going down the wrong way. And, and this year, you guys have fought off adversity and bounced back every time. What What's different there? What's different in the locker room to help that? Well, we were so young in the past. We didn't know how to win for real in the SEC. And, um, it really just come with experience. All of us are older now, juniors and seniors, and now we got good freshmen who don't play like freshmen. So it's just a lot easier. We know how to win now. Go to the back with the cameras. Tyson, Coach Martin in Missouri called you the microwave. Do you feel like when you when you heat up and get going, the, no one no one can stop you and you just kind of get in the zone? Do you get in the zone when you're shooting like that? Yeah, definitely. I feel like that sometimes. It's almost like just shooting in the gym by yourself because you know, a lot of work put in, a lot of shots up. So it's almost like that. Tyson, like, like you said, I know there's, there's still work to do for you guys, but if you are in the NCAA tournament, things thinking about. I know you grew up, you know, with, with a dad that played here and, and, and things. So I'm sure that there was probably a lot of attention paid here. Do you even, do you remember ten years ago the last time? Yeah. So I mean, in the NCAA tournament, do you remember watching that game? Anything about the last time? Yeah, I remember watching that game. It was a 13 seed. Washington was a four. And, um, I remember they ended up. I was, I was disappointed, <laughs> but um, you know it's exciting to get back to that. Tyson, this might be just my perspective, but it seemed like, you know, two years ago in these SEC games, you're a skinny guy. Sometimes they be physical games, and you get pushed around a little bit. But now, it just doesn't seem like the case. You find where you fit in, and you score points. And how have you adapted? How has your game changed to kind of be better in these bigger games? Well, just in the offseason, just getting in the weight room, but just playing harder, playing tough for like three years brings a lot of experience. So it just you kind of learn the niches and not getting pushed around as much. How much weight have you gained over three years, or have you gained any? I gained like 20 pounds. Like I got oh. Don't look like <laughs> <laughs> Robert, this being your first season, obviously you don't know what it's like to be on a team that falls short of the NCAA tournament. But just you know, being around your teammates who, who do know what that feels like, what have you sensed from them about this season being different for them? And, you know, what have you seen in their emotions and the run that you guys have made to, to get to this point? Um, it's definitely great energy. Um, you know, it, it has to be tough to like, you know, fall short the last three years of making the tournament, especially last year, falling like one game, two games short. So coming in this year and being able to uh, make it, well, you know, try to lock in that spot, it feels great, especially for the seniors. I can feel for them. I can, I can sense the uh, excitement. Anything else for the players before we get Coach Howland in here? All right, thank you guys.